What's up guys, SpinFireArms here, and this is an absolute awesome comparison video. I think these two handguns offer a lot, and what's interesting about them is they're reasonably priced, but they're also rarely talked about. Now every now and then you do see videos on the Mossberg, but I feel like Stoger is still in that breakout period for their handguns. You know, they're certified in shotguns, um, they're certified with their ties to Beretta, they're certified in the form of their factory and their producing and stuff like that. They're just not certified in their handguns yet because not a lot of people have them. And I know for a lot of people, the reason is holster availability, aftermarket support, stuff like that is just not enough for them yet. But I'm telling you guys, these Stogers are some sleepers. And what is a sleeper? It's basically a handgun that, you know, not a lot of people have, not a lot of people talk about, but actually performs really well and has a lot going for it and is the total package. Now... Uh, we're going to get into the Stoger, but we're also going to get into the Mossberg. We're going to do size comparison, talk about magazine availability, um, compatibility, aftermarket support, all that. But mainly just what I like and don't like about each handgun. And that's actually something that's interesting. When I talk about handguns, people think if I choose one over the other, that means the other one's bad. No, it just may mean this one fits my hand better. I pull this trigger smoother without moving the handgun. Um, the ergonomics are better. Whatever the case may be, it conceals better on me. Every handgun carries differently. Every handgun feels differently to every person. Um, and when it comes down to it, like for instance, my Hellcat, I always say is my favorite Micro 9. And the Shield Plus is my second favorite. But honestly, if I had to rate them out of 100 for carry guns, they're both gonna be sitting at you know 95, 90 out of 100. So it's not like they're too, you know, they vary a ton in how much I like them. No, I like them a lot, but I just prefer one over the other one by just a little bit. I like all these Micro 9s, to be honest, they're all pretty solid handguns. I don't really hate on any of them. As long as I shoot them well and they conceal, that's what they're for. This handgun may not work for you, but it might work for him or her really well, and vice versa. You know, that's just how it is with handguns. Anyways, the Stoger STR9 Micro Compact. I ended up getting this one because it was really, um, I always saw it in the comments. You guys were always saying, you know, you got to try the Stoger, you know. And we know all these big releases are coming out, like the Walther PPS M3, you know, the car um, stack and a half. All sorts of stuff is coming out. Hopefully some, you know, HK, all these other brands, hopefully they come out this year. But Stoger has been releasing their compact, their full size, and their subcompact. And this is their newest offering. And I think they knocked it out of the park in so many ways and i think for the price they are priced just right they give you a lot for a budget value and i have yet to have a hiccup with it so anyways let's get into it awesome forward serrations even with these little cool lines it looks really cool awesome rear serrations but they function really well looks don't really matter but i think this is a really sharp looking handgun as you can see a nice stainless steel guide rod i sort of wish it was black but once again doesn't matter when are you ever looking down the barrel side you're not you can just see it from the side so who cares um awesome rail you know, the Shield Plus lacks a rail, the Mosberg is a weird rail, the SIG has a weird rail, even though the SIG has all the aftermarket support in the world, um, it's just not as compatible as like the Hellcat rail that has, you know, some awesome offerings for it. But anyways, this is an awesome rail, I'm sure there's some options out there, I'm going to be trying some options that I have here, maybe the Hellcat one will fit, maybe it won't, not 100% sure where it's going to sit with those buttons. But awesome finish that was changed for this handgun, at least I think it is. My other two Stogers, the finish is not as nice. It scratches a lot more. It shows more wear. This is actually a pretty competitive finish to, you know, $400, $500, $600 handgun. So definitely liking that. Awesome sights, metal, adjustable rear sight. Um, right there, white dot front sight with that nice squared off. I like when squares have a little bit of room. I don't like when they're massive and, you know, you're playing around. I think these are awesome defensive sights. Great texturing on that rear. Now, very similar to a Hellcat or a Glock. You know, in the way this thing looks, it sort of looks like a Glock 43 and a Hellcat had a baby, just being honest. Takes down like a Glock. Awesome memory pads. Awesome texturing, which is my favorite part about the handgun. I love the texturing and the ergonomics. Even with this 11 round mag, you get two fingers on there, 11 plus one in this setup. Right here is going to be 13 plus one. And obviously the firearm is safety checked and cleared before every video. But this one's 13 plus one, so 14 rounds. We'll just do the comparison real quick now that we're here. So both of these have 11. Mosberg on the left, Stoger on the right, so it's 11 plus 1 versus 11 plus 1. The Stoger is interesting because it is just as short as the Hellcat with the same exact capacity, and that is the smallest handgun in the world with 9mm, that's a stack and a half, as the Hellcat. And the Stoger is the exact same size. The Mosberg is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, and a little longer, but not by much. Also, 11 plus 1. So two awesome setups. Obviously, Mosberg safety check and cleared. 
Now, Mosberry takes a 14 round mag, and this takes a 13 round mag. So 14 total rounds on the right, 15 on the left. And you see where that extra round would come from if the Stoger had a larger mag. It may be able to fit 14, possibly even 15, as this is basically spot on with the Hellcat, and the Hellcat mag sits just a little below here with 15 rounds in it. But who cares? This is 15 total rounds, and this is 14 total rounds in super small shootable packages. So it's absolutely awesome. But this does take larger mags. It takes the mags from the compact and the full size. So if you have multiple Stogers, you can use all your double stack mags in this handgun right here, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so you can get some pretty decent capacity out here. And if you have a light, this could be your home defense. You know, if you, this was your only handgun, it's going to be great to carry during the day. And it's still very doable um, for home defense. But absolutely love the Stoger. I honestly don't have a lot bad to say about it. I really like it. And I think it is going to be a sleeper of the year. But check this out. Trigger pull. Great trigger. I love this as a defensive trigger. It just feels really natural. That pull just feels really good where your finger sits on that trigger. That's reset. Good, solid defensive pistol. Um, awesome mags, too. Really good quality mags. You can sort of see the Beretta roots in them. Mosberg MC2SC. You know, this is about $400, whereas that Stoger was $350. This is about $400 to $420. This model has awesome memory pads. Awesome serrations. The finish isn't as nice as that Stoger, but it's still a really good finish. It reminds me of the Hellcat, just a little less quality. Sorry, I got a cat hair. Um, as you can see, this one's optics ready. So for optics ready Stoger version, it's going to be 450, but it comes with night sights and it's optics ready. For the MC2 SC, there are packages with night sights. They're like 475, but optics ready is pretty um, consistent amongst all models. Whereas the Stoger does offer that baseline model, which is what you see right there. Um, ergonomics are really on point with the Mosberg, but I do think the Stoger has a little bit better ergonomics, even though the Mosberg fills the hand a little more, so it might be better for people with like size large hands or above. I wear size, size large gloves, so you can take that for what it is. Everything functions on this handgun. Racking it is simple. It's a joy. You know, it's optics ready. Comes with three dot metal sights that you can still co-witness with with your dot. I mean, it's a really good solid package. Just in terms of lights though, you're gonna have very minimal options. And if so, they're probably gonna be some crappy knockoffs or Amazon you know, models or whatever the case may be. Hey, but if that works, it works. It is what it is, who am I? Um, I did put grip on this because unlike the Stoger, it has no grip texture. The grip texturing is really minimal, but a $20 fix makes it a heck of a handgun and awesome feeling in the hand. Now this model is very interesting because it has a manual safety. The Stoger does not come with a manual safety in any model. This, if you want a manual safety, that is an option. For some people, they want a manual safety. And what's interesting about this one is you'll probably never, ever accidentally press this. Whereas some of these manual safeties that sit right here, as you hit recoil, some people's thumbs go up or their hand goes up. This is never going to be touched. And as you draw, you know, it's pretty easy to turn on and off. Um, but I just don't use it. So that is what it is. Now we can get into that trigger real quick. Ready? Very nice flat face trigger. This trigger also feels really good on the finger, but it is heavier than the Stoger. Um, very crisp, clean though. I do like the Mosberg trigger. It is an awesome defensive trigger again. We're not com competitive shooting with these handguns. We are defending our lives in a nice concealable package. Much heavier, uh, not much heavier, but it's significantly heavier than the Stoger, but a shorter reset and that spring really does kick out. And that first trigger pull is really, really nice. The Mosberg, I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, other than the texturing the rail, but the rail doesn't bother me because I don't carry with a light. But this thing right here is a great option for anybody. Um, I've seen a lot of great reviews and articles, and I've seen some magazines. And, you know, a lot of people really trust these handguns. They got, you know, Gun of the Week one week. And, you know, this really is an awesome production for Mosberg. And what's really interesting about these two is they're both shotgun companies. That's where they originate. That's where they do their, you know, work that they're known for. And now they're branching out to the defensive pistol market. And I think they're both doing a great job. So these are two awesome sleepers. Um, rarely talked about the Mosberg is a little more well known. Oh yeah, aftermarket support. The Mosberg does have some night sights out there that you can find every now and then. There are holsters for it. Hog Holsters offers one, I believe. I actually had a subscriber that made me a holster, so you can go look at that video and contact him if you want one. It's actually a really nice holster that he sent me. So shout out to him. Uh, I love the Mosberg. I think it is a solid, solid handgun. Ergonomics on point. Great capacity. Great shooter. Very smooth. Accurate. It has everything you would want. When it comes to the Stoger, there are very, very, very limited holster options. Your chances are you're going to have to go to someone for custom work, like hog holsters or something like that. But if you can find that holster, it's very reasonable. Now, I'm not sure that this holster will work. It just happens to be laying over there. 
but, you know, I carry, you know, like a Ruger LC9S in this thing, a shield, you know, that whole sort of thing. So like single stacks, but it tends to fit everything. So I'm not saying use a holster like this for everyday carry because this is more range use or, you know, whatever, the, out in the country, whatever. But what I'm saying is you can get leather holsters, you know, for the Hellcat and they're going to fit the Stoger perfectly. So your best option is probably go with something leather or something that's, you know, a hybrid but can fit multiple models. That is gonna be your best option for the Stoger. As far as night sights, just get the upgraded version, save up, work a little more overtime, whatever the case may be. Me, I'm simply testing the base model because I feel like that's what a lot of people are gonna purchase um, simply because you know things are hard right now and money's tight for a lot of people. And I think it's a great option regardless of not being optus ready. Learn to use your irons. They're just, they're there for reasons. They worked for a reason for a long time and they're not gonna fail you. So Stoger is a great option. So is the Mossberg. I, can't, I wouldn't complain with either of them as my main carry. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.